This is Ian. I've been a publisher for more than 10 years, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a new title to Barnes & Noble Press to be seen on the Nook. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me, and let's get started. So Barnes & Noble Press, this is basically the publishing platform for independent publishers, self-published authors to upload an EPUB of their ebook and to get it published as a Nook book. And a Nook, in case you don't know, that's one of these e-readers that Barnes & Noble sells um, they've had ups and downs for a long time. I'm not going to lie about that. And actually, I'm going to share with you my sales over the last 10 or so years. You can see in 2013, I had sales of $702. Uh, last year, it was uh, t less than 10% of that. And I think that reflects the rise of the Kindle. But anyways, let's get into actually creating a new EPUB, a new ebook in Barnes & Noble Press. And start with by clicking on the Projects tab. And then uh, you can, first of all, you can see your cat, your whole catalog here. So you can see I have many books that have been published over the years. I'm going to create basically the second edition of this book right here. So Security in 30 Minutes. This is um, the, sorry, this is the first volume one, second edition. Now I'm going to create volume two, second edition. So I'm going to press the button that says create a new book. And then I'm going to select ebook and then click next. Give your book a title. So what you're doing here is... Ideally, you'll have all your files ready and you'll need three files. One of the files is the EPUB file that's ready to publish. The other file is your cover file in a high resolution one. I'll explain that in a second. The third thing you're going to need is like a metadata file. And for me, this is just a text file. This is the, this is the text file I have for this particular book. It has all of the ISBNs. It has all of the categories. It has a couple reviews in there and it has short and long descriptions. So basically, I have everything I need ready to go to paste into Barnes & Noble Press. Some people, they use spreadsheets for this, and I actually do have a spreadsheet as well, but I found, I found that particularly for the longer bits of text, a text file works better, and that's what I use. So I'm going to basically paste in the book title, just the title, not the subtitle. That's the title, paste it in, next. And it is a pre-order. Next. I have to say, actually, that Barnes & Noble Press, the workflow here is really, really good because I I publish on Amazon KDP and Apple Books, and, and this is a much better process. They designed it quite well. But there's one problem with this tool, and I'll show, show that to you in a second. Okay, drag and drop your interior file or select from my computer. So I'm just going to drag and drop it, and I have it ready to go. It's this file right here. Social Security V2 E2 Press Files Final. It's going to drag that right in there. Does your interior file include a cover? And yes, it does. But actually, there's a separate step to, to upload another cover. I don't know why they do that. But anyways, I have both files ready. And you can see there's this process, uploading, converting, validating, complete. Hopefully, there won't be any problems with that. It's an 8 megabyte file, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time. And then there's a review process. So like Amazon KDP, Barnes & Noble Press includes a tool to preview the EPUB. I recommend you go through the steps of actually taking a look at your book to see what it looks like. Um, it's not a great tool. And in fact, what I do recommend you doing is actually previewing it on the device you're going to be using. Now, I don't have a Nook. And because my sales are so low every year, I just showed it to you before, it's less than $100 a year. I'm not going to invest in one. But I have tested this EPUB on two other devices. Uh, that includes a Kindle. It looks fine. I've already taken all the errors out because I uploaded it to Kindle and Apple Books first. So I think we're good with this. So I'm gonna, I have reviewed and approved my manuscript. Save and continue. Now the sample file, basically it's a preview file. Just choose the default, unless you're really skilled with working with EPUB files. I would just choose the default sample. Okay, now it's ask, ask, asking for my cover file. I don't know why it does that because I've already told them that the EPUB includes a cover file, but maybe this is for the website version. So I have a whole bunch of covers here 
so they want a large file. I think it's a 1400 pixels on its smallest dimension at least. And make sure it's RG, RGB, not CMYK. And this is the one that I want. Yep, that's the file. I'm just gonna drag that right over. And by the way, I work with professional ebook designers and book designers. So my files are really high quality. Yes, you can do a DIY. Yes, you can use some sort of online cover ge gen uh, generator, but if you have the funds and you're serious about publishing a professional quality of work, by God, you should be using a uh, real graphic designer, a real book designer, not some IA, uh, AI or some uh, downloaded file um, from the internet. Okay, I previewed and proved my cover. All right, this is where you can add more details. So subtitle, I do have that in my metadata file. Paste that in. Publisher name is correct. Publication date is not correct. It's a week from now. Edition number, it's a second edition. Edition description, updated. Now, I mentioned before that there's an issue with this tool. Despite the fact that the workflow is really good, one part of it that's broken is the HTML editor. And I've had a lot of trouble with this, but basically what I recommend is that you just use the uh, default book description if it's a simple one. So I do have a default book description and it is here, my short description. I'm gonna actually modify it a little bit, updated and revised edition, which is true. I'm just gonna paste that in. You can do very simple HTML formatting. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's basically a way to format text for the web, but also for e-devices and for uh, other sort of digital sources, apps and things like that. So what you can do is you can like highlight something and bold it. That works fine. That works good enough. You can apply a paragraph tag. The thing that does not work is the list item. I'm not going to get into it right here, but basically I do have a full description with bulleted with bullets and the bullets are just broken. So I've given up trying to make it work. I'm just going to live with the short description. You can preview your description, save and continue. And then we're going to come up to the author. Okay, so I already have this author in the system. Let's see if she's there. Yep, she's there, Emily Pogue. About the authors, I do have some text. Copy and paste that in. And I'm just gonna italicize this. Save and continue. Okay, audience, general adult, language, English. Choose your categories. This is something, this tool is actually really good. I like it. Uh, unlike Amazon and Apple where you have to drill down through an endless list of BISAC categories or Apple categories, this one you can just search for it. So this it would be for uh, special needs. All right, they don't have that. So I'm gonna search for disability. find that. Oh, they're really making it challenging. Okay, this is interesting. So I don't know what, oh, I know what's going on here. Huh. I, sele I, I selected fiction and not nonfiction. So choose, be sure that you choose the right set of categories. Now it should work. Okay, here we go. Um, so they have a whole bunch of different categories here. So this would be Parenting and family, children with special needs, because this is covering uh, SSI and SSDI. And then the other thing I want to add is disability. And so it's only children. I thought we should have had something for adults here. Let's see if I can find it. No, they don't. Okay, so I, I think I just need to go with the categories that they give me. Um, 
Barnes and Noble, by the way, they let you do five categories. So I might come back later on and edit that. Choose keywords for search engines. So I do have keywords. There they are. And just separate them by comma. It's funny because sometimes these systems, they ask for separated by semicolon or by space, but here, this one, it's commas. Save and continue. <clears throat> All right, this is where the magic takes place. I do not devalue my eBooks. They sell for a real price. They take real work to make. Very expensive to make, actually, if you consider the labor of the author, uh, myself, the editors, the graphic designers, that all cost money and time. So I charge a real price for this. Save and continue. This is important. Do you want DRM encryption for your ebook? Select no. Even though DRM sounds great, oh, my book won't be pirated because it has DRM, the small benefit it gives, which is, frankly, it's kind of dubious. I don't even know if it works that well. Um, it, the trade-off is you're going to piss off a certain set of your readers who have problems either opening the book or transferring it or doing something else with it. So select no for DRM. It's just not worth the trouble. I've never, I haven't used DRM, I think, since the very beginning of my company. It's never slowed me down. Okay, yes, sometimes my ebooks show up on pirated sites in like, you know, Uzbekistan or something. It, that has no impact on my sales in the U.S., so I don't care about that. The book is not in the public domain. I do have an ebook specific ISBN purchased from Bowker at a completely ridiculous price, I should add. Bowker's not my friend, not publisher's friends. Okay, save and continue. Editorial reviews. So I do have some NetGalley reviews. Actually, I actually have a really good one. And put it right there. Viewer's name, his name is Clinton Greaves. Source is NetGalley. And save and continue. Okay, this is it. You review everything. Ebook is ready, sample is ready, co covers ready, title, subtitle are all set, edition numbers all set, description about the author, categories are good, pricing is good. I don't have any promotions or anything, and I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to put it on sale. And so we are done. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and follow me. If you go to leemedia.org, my official website, search for KDP or book, and you'll see a whole bunch of different website, uh, sorry, articles I've written on my blog. I just try to help other publishers out, and I hope it helps you. Thank you.